He's back to pass. He shoots. He scores. Hockey, I love the speed of the game. College hockey has so much speed and so much when it's played well. It's got a lot of great rhythm to it. The kids playing for the love of the game, they're not getting a paycheck. They're out there and they're giving it all uh, for the school spirit, for their teammates. They do it for uh, their own pride. Once they've gotten to that level of hockey, they have a pretty good idea of what kind of player they are and how they can contribute to the team. You put all of that together and college hockey just brings it together on a big stage. When the Sullivan Arena is filled, that's 64, 6500. At the Carlson Center in Fairbanks, you fill that place, that's 4000 plus. So you're putting your skills, your abilities on a big stage and it brings everybody up. It's just a great, great spectator sport. It's a great fan experience to be in the arena watching a college hockey game. The Governor's Cup is always an emotional series because of the rivalry between the two schools. Not only just the hockey teams, but the rivalry between the two schools. There's always been that. There's always been that tension between the schools. And of course, when they have a stage to play on, whether it's basketball, hockey, or whatever, things um, get exciting. Well, the Governor's Cup came along and it was a, a competition between the two hockey teams with a tangible reward. It had a big Governor's Cup and so they fight for that every year. The emotion of the series is just uh, phenomenal and it's amazing because of the fact that most of the players on both teams come from Canada, come from places other than Anchorage or Fairbanks and so to get them educated, to get them uh, buying into what the Governor's Cup is all about uh, seems to be a challenge, but it seems to be something that comes naturally. Uh, the captains of both teams, the older guys on the teams, always let the freshmen know just how important it is. And of course, the respective athletic directors let the coaches know, and it's a trickle-down effect. So everybody gets a real feel for what the Governor's Cup is all about, and it's an exciting time for the players. This year's Governor's Cup was unique in that you've got a team in Fairbanks that came in uh, doing pretty well this, this year. Going into the Governor's Cup weekend, they were fourth in the CCHA and had put together a pretty nice season. The Seawolves, meanwhile, were in eighth place in the WCHA and were fighting to stay out of ninth place and hadn't been playing particularly well going into the weekend. All of that aside, of course, the emotion takes over and it becomes uh, so much more than, like I said, this the two game set. But on paper, it looked like uh, Fairbanks was going to you know, take things in a cakewalk. Well, as we know, the Friday night game almost became that. A 7-4 victory uh, for the Nanooks in the Friday night game. Saturday night's game in uh, Fairbanks was much closer. It ended up being 3-2, and that game was in doubt all the way to the end. 